Hello students, this is Lesson 22, Session 3. We are on page 473, so go ahead and turn there and we'll get started. Okay, uh, the name of this lesson is Adding Fractions in Line Plots. Sophia is making a border for a quilt. She wants to use leftover strips of fabric. She measures the length of each strip and records the information in a line plot. Sophia puts together the five strips of fabric that are the same length. What is the total length of the five strips of fabric? Okay, so she wants to use leftover strips of fabric, so she measures the length of each strip and records the information. She puts together the five strips of fabric that are the same length. So what is the total length of the five strips? So on here, the five strips that are the same length are right here. You can see one, two, three, four, five, five X's. So we're gonna add those five together. So it'll be 12 and 1 fourth plus 12 and 1 fourth plus 12 and 1 fourth plus 12 and one fourth, one, two, three, four, plus 12 and one fourth. So the first thing we have here is we can take out these whole numbers and put them all together. So one, two, three, four, five. And we can add those. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Carry my one. One, two, three, four, five, sixty. And then we're going to add our one fourths together. Okay, so since they all have four on the bottom, that means my four is going to stay. And then I count the top. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five fourths. So 60 and five fourths. But we know that we can take four fourths from five fourths, which would mean that there would be one fourth left. So 60 and five fourths is the same thing as 61 and 1 fourth because you would add that one to here and have 1 fourth left over. All right, let's take a look at page 474. Okay, right here it's just giving us that same problem. It says you can also draw a picture. The picture shows five strips of fabric placed next to one another to make one long strip. So you can see that right there. Or you can model it, which is how we did it. Add the whole numbers first, which we got 60, and then add the fractions, which we got 1 and 1 fourth. And then you add those together. 475. Connect it. So this says write an expression to find the total length of the five strips of fabric that Sophia put together. So we already did that on the other page, and it looks like we already did all of this. So we're going to skip page 475, and we're going to go ahead and go on to page 476. Now it says, use what you just learned to solve these problems. So here's our problem. Use the line plot above. What is the length of all the 12 and 1 8 inch strips combined? So here's our 12 and 1 8 and there's three of them. So we have 12 and 1 8 plus 12 and 1 8 plus 12 and 1 8. So we're going to take those 12s and add them. 2, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to add these 1 8 together, which equals 3 8. So our answer is 36 and three-eighths inches. Number six. Kay hikes on four days this week. The total distance that she hikes is 10 miles. Mark X's on the number line below to make possible line plot for the data. Okay, so it has to total two, 10. The easiest way to do that would be to do five of the twos because two times five is ten but we're not going to take the easy way okay so let's do um, let's do maybe two threes so three plus three is six 
So we have four left. Okay, so how can we do four? Well, we can do two twos. Two times two is four. So that would be one of the possibilities. And there's several other possibilities that you could do. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page 477. If you feel like you are getting the hang of line plots, go ahead and complete 477 and 478 on your own and see how you do. If you still feel like you're needing some extra support, you can watch with me. All right, 477. Look at the line plot and the example. So up here, this line plot. Ashley decides to glue the four largest shells along the edge of another frame. The shells fit exactly. How wide is the other frame? Show your work. Okay, so the four largest would be these right here. Okay, and she said that they fit exactly. Well, so that means that we have to add those four together to see what size the frame is. So we have two plus two plus one and three fourths plus one and three fourths. Well, we can easily add the whole numbers and see we have two, four, five, six, and then we can add three fourths plus three fourths, which equals six fourths. But if we subtract four fourth from six, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, leaves two fourths left. So that means six plus one and two fourths, which equals seven and two fourths inches. Okay, number two. Ashley puts the one and one fourth inch shells in a row, touching without gaps. What is the total width of the shells? So look up here. There's three one and one fourth shells. So you have one and one fourth plus one and one fourth plus one and one fourth. One, two, three whole numbers. One, two, three, and the fraction. So three and three fourth inches. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page to 478. A standard sized brick should be seven and five eight inches long. The line plot shows the actual lengths of 12 different bricks. What is the sum of the lengths of all the bricks that are exactly 7 and 5 and 8 inches long? Show your work. Ooh, that's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 and 5 eighths plus 7 and 5 eighths. 3, 4, Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's take all the seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times seven, or seven, seven times is forty nine. And now we have to do. Five eighths, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five eighths. Okay? What is thirty-five divided by eight? Well, eight times four is thirty-two, and that leaves three. So that means it's going to be 49 plus 4 plus 3 eighths, because our bottom number we're working with is eighths. So that means it's going to be 53 and 3 eighths inches. Whew. What is the sum of the length of all the bricks that are shorter than 7 and 5 eighths inches? So 7 and 1 half. And there's three of them. So seven and one half plus seven and one half plus seven and one half. Seven plus seven is 14 plus seven more is 21. 
half plus half is one, and then plus one half. So that would be 22 and one half inches. Last one today. What is the sum of the lengths of all the bricks that are longer than seven and five eighths inches long? So seven and three fourths plus seven and three fourths. Seven plus seven is 14. Three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths, but we can't do that because we can subtract four fourths, which means we add one. So that would leave us two left. So it would be 15 and 2 fourths. That's it for today. I'll see you back for our next lesson.